Yo, Elliot, will you enter the metaverse? Here is an excerpt from USA Today explaining the metaverse. What is the metaverse? It's a combination of multiple elements of technology, including virtual reality, augmented reality, and video where users live in a digital universe. Supporters of the metaverse envision its users working, playing, and staying connected with friends through everything from concerts and conferences to virtual trips around the world. Right now, we are on the cusp of the next internet, says Matthew Ball, managing partner of the venture capital firm Ellipsion uh, Industries on his website. So thank you for sending that question because uh, you clarified what it means to me. All I know is that I've heard Facebook is going to change their name to Metaverse. I didn't look any further because I really don't care. But now that you shared this excerpt from a USA Today article, a red flag goes off for me. Now, I got to warn you. I like Alex Jones. I like Alex Jones. I, I don't watch him all the time because he gives me anxiety. <laughs> But I like him because he's usually ahead of the curve. There are things that Alex Jones says is coming that most people are like, what are you talking about, dude? And then in a matter of years, it's here. And I remember back in like 2008, listening to Alex Jones talk about the digital utopia that we're being ushered into where human beings will no longer be themselves, they'll be avatars. And that there's going to be this entire controlled digital universe that you become personally identified with it and do most of your transactioning. This was 12, 13, 14 years ago that he said this, right? 2014, if my math is right, probably wrong. But it was a lot of years ago, right? It was uh, less than 10 years ago, my bad. He said this, and I heard him say it, and I, I, I was like, wow, okay, that sounds crazy. I don't know, is that really going to happen? Well, evidently it's here. And so some of the warnings he made against this, right? Because I can only go based on what I see, what I hear, I don't know anything. And I can go based on my instinct, you know, my intuition. Lockdowns. We've experienced this rollout of lockdowns going on two years now right? 2020, 2021. If you look at Australia, they're still in lockdown. Lots of Europe is still in lockdown. Uh, Canada's in lockdown. Many of the states in the U.S. are in lockdown. Luckily, I live in Florida. There's no lockdown for me. So I'm kind of inoculated <laughs> against this. But I see it unfolding in the world. One of the things that Jones was saying back in the day is that there will be a medical martial law dictatorship. And if you look at what the New World Order seems to be ushering in, this new normal, I think it has a lot to do with controlling people by keeping them dormant within their domiciles. Stay home and interact through our made world. So, you know, the globalists and the oligarchs and the world leaders, of course, have a power trip, right? They've got a God complex. They believe that it is up to them to create and to guide and to train and to prune and to, to, to be world creators, right? They're world creators. And I can't help but to think that this is a new world that they're creating. You know, maybe the new world order isn't just a physical phenomenon. It's a metaphysical universe. It's a metaverse. I even like that word because if you think what's metaphysical, right? Metaphysical is not physical. It's before physical or next to metaphysical. That's what meta means. Meta means it's not exactly the thing, but it's close to the thing. Metaverse is not exactly the thing. It's not the universe. It's next to the thing. And that if we get invested in, right, as we are in Facebook and Instagram and, you know, social media, if we get invested into this metaverse, we're going to be personally identified with a fake world. The, the draw towards promoting something like this for the world rulers and, you know, the technocrats, if you will, right, who's the guy that created Facebook, I forget his name. We are now being subject to an entirely new universe 
without borders, without rule of law, right? There's no rule of law. There's absolutely zero. There's no constitution. There's no rule of law. And we know this is true because big tech has been skating these rules and laws, skirting these rules and laws. Uh, and we saw the climax of their tyranny during the 2020 election, right? And so on and so forth. And we see what they're doing with silencing uh, objectors. We see what they're doing with canceling people and with uh, shutting off accounts and stuff like that. Shutting down an account today where we're not all invested in living in a metaverse, right? A fake universe uh, isn't so bad. Right. It's not it's not that bad. Right. You get banned from somewhere. Well, you know, maybe maybe that's going to take away from my streams of income a little bit. But for the most part, I'm still living in a real world. I still go to the supermarket. I still go to the grocery store. I still go to tractor supply. I'm still I'm still living as a real human being. But if we're all locked down, can't go anywhere and invested in this universe, and we then start believing that our livelihood is dependent, then de, uh, dependent upon the avatar that represents us in this universe, we could very easily be shut off. We could be very easily be manipulated. That's what's happening right now, only that they, they hope to ramp up these efforts. And so as a conservative, right? And I like to use that word literally, as a conservative, meaning I want to conserve things as they are. Maybe that makes me an, an old man, right? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit older. As you get older, you become more conservative because you start to see that the progress is actually degradation and eroding, right? Not all progress is good. So as a conservative, I want to conserve things the way they are, right? I'm not a fan of progress, right? Does that mean that the world is going to leave me by? Probably, probably, unless somebody hears what I have to say and they choose otherwise and want to live traditionally. If we if we even can, because we don't live in a place if we don't live in a place that's locking you down, but we're going to be forced into this metaverse. That's what it is. That's what the lockdowns represent, and that's what this fake world universe uh, that we're going to be enticed into. Right? We won't be forced into it. Even the vaccines aren't. Or no one's really forcing it. They're mandating it, which. In, in essence, is just making it difficult for you not to accept it. If that's going to be the case with the metaverse, it's going to be because we want to take it. Like you said, people are going to be working, playing, staying connected, right? Virtual reality, augmented reality. You know, where users are living in a live you, digital universe. I think it's a hoax. I think it's a trick. I think it's a power play. I think that it is uh, the essence of the new world order and the desire to control the population, create a prison planet. And, you know, the easiest way to enslave people is not by their bodies. The lockdown is a form of enslavement, right? And so they are, there is a, there is a tyranny against our bodies, but it's through our minds. And if you are emotionally and mentally invested in a metaverse, a fake world, the clouds, then you're going to be easily manipulated by those who own the cloud, right? Is that to say that we don't live in a fake world as it is already? I do think we do live, we have fake money, we have fake food, right? We have fake relationships. We, we believe all kinds of fake things like men can be pregnant, right? So the world is already faked up. It's already faked up big time. I think this is a quantum leap towards putting the nail in the coffin of us living in a fugazi figment of our imagination, fake digital world that doesn't really exist. But if you have your money tied to it, all our money's digital right now, right? Even crypto. I'm not a crypto fan. I, I understand why you guys, some of you, I know some of you made a lot of money from crypto. And so I'm not saying that's not real, but I'm not a fan of crypto simply because I see it as a, as a, as a, as a movement towards this metaverse idea where nothing is real. Cryptocurrency is not real. What uh, fiat currency is not real. Money isn't real. Here, let me tell you how extreme I am. <laughs> right? This is how I'm the extreme in the opposite direction as a conservative. I guess I'm not just a conservative, but I'm like, I'm fighting to hold on. I am making plans. I'm I'm trying to set myself up so that. I don't even need money. If I grow my own food, have my own water, have my own energy, 
own my own property, then I don't even need their fake currency anymore. I don't need the fiat fake dollars. I don't need the greenbacks any longer. They're, cra they're crashing that, that economic system anyway. It's going to come crumbling down, but they're going to usher us instantly into a metaverse dollar, right? The metaverse, you're going to have a metaverse wallet, right? And then, and then what happens when your money, when your friendships, when your job, when your connections, when your concert and your conference, uh, co conferences and trips around, around the world are all taking place in this fake world, you have less power than if you effectuate change within the soil beneath your feet, right? And so I'm trying to stay as far away from shit like this. My son has been begging me for the past two years, and, he's and Christmas is coming around the corner, for a VR headset. I will not buy my son a VR headset. He wants it bad <laughs> because he's a child of the new world, and I get it. My dad didn't let us have cable TV when I was growing up, right? We were, I, my dad put certain boundaries, and it gives me courage to have certain boundaries with my children as well, knowing that, hey, you know what? My dad did the right thing by not letting us have cable TV. Now my son wants to live in a fucking visual, visual world, virtual world, where he puts on a headset and disappears into a different universe. Ain't letting it happen. Ain't letting it happen. Ain't gonna happen. When he leaves, go somewhere else, when he goes and live on his own, he, he can go live in the metaverse all he wants, but I'm resistant, right? I'm, I'm a conservative. I'm, I'm not even a legit boomer, but you understand what I'm saying when I say that? I'm a, like, I'm a boomer. I want to hold on to the ideals of the past, which require real people, real flesh and blood, human being, dirt, soil, split, shit and spit, life. I want to have complete, and I know this is, not, I know this is sort of impossible, I want to have as much sovereignty over my life as possible, but if I give my energy over to a fake digital world that's owned and controlled by Facebook, <laughs> What can I expect if I get pushed around, right? What can I expect if I get cut off or shut off or canceled? I gave my life over to that. Even these, you know, I'm highly dependent on the internet for my income because this is where you guys join me in my training programs. Even this, I'm a little like, I don't really like it too much. Like I get it, I like it, I'm doing it. It's profitable, but at the same time, I much rather like sell cattle or something. Right? I much rather live off my land because it's real, right? If I could make money not dealing with the internet at all, I probably would. This is why I was doing events prior to the lockdowns, right? Because I want to actually see people, right? This is cool. I don't mind. This is the way the world is right now. But I would much rather do it in person. I'd much rather be around people. That's why I was a personal trainer for so many years. I want you to come here so we can do the damn thing. I don't want this, this fake world. It's already fake and it's just getting faker. And I think that's what metaverse is. So, you know, am I going to get swept up in it? I don't know. Will my children get swept in it, up in it? Probably. But I'm going to resist to the day that I die because that's what I do, right? I lift weights. I like resistance. <laughs> I like resistance training. And this is another form of resistance training for me. I will not accept the metaverse unless totally forced to. Right. And does that, and like I said, does that mean that the world is going to pass me by? Yeah, it probably does. It probably does. I probably won't have the type of opportunities that the people in the metaverse have, but I will be living in a real world. And as a result, I'd, I'd rather be this way. I'd rather stay this way. Right. So, you know, not all progress is good progress, guys. Right. It may be dazzling. Right. This is, it's like, it's like witchcraft. It's like magic. Wow. Look, ooh, I'm in a digital world. This is amazing, right? And we can marvel at it, but it's an illusion. It's fucking fake. So that's it. That's all. That's my opinion on that, bro. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram 
and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.